convergence marketing, I'll mess with that in a second. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to duplicate this stuff. I'm going to hold down, I'm going to select it first, and then I'm going to hold down my command option. Let's try to get all of them together. Not going to work. There we go. Fudge. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down, I'm going to click on it, I'm going to hold down my command option and shift, and you see I get this my icons turn into to like it's a duplicate arrow and what I'm doing is I'm duplicating I'm just dragging this text box and I'm duplicating it same idea you can copy and paste it do whatever I just prefer this way so I got now I got a couple of them here so I'm gonna leave this one alone I'm gonna let's see the five C's so I'm gonna just kinda duplicate and delete this stuff so I want five C's on its own I want the on its own and I want convergence marketing on its own um, this is my personal way of doing this just because I can mess with the stuff very quickly and get it done nice and fast and then group it in the end and everything is nice. So convergence marketing, I'm going to maybe move over here for right now, the five C's and the, so the itself, I'm going to scale this guy down. Okay, so it's nice and tiny, the five C's. Uh, I think I want to change it to a different font, so I'm going to go to here, the city of Grand, the bold. Mm still not working for me maybe I'm gonna get uh, what font should I choose and this all comes up to stuff Helvetica new I'm on a kick right now I'm gonna use uh, condensed black it's nice and thick make this text box bigger boost this up and you see if you make the font too big you're gonna get that little guy right there and that's just saying your text is too big for the text box what do you want to do drag it out make it bigger so now I got this five C's going on here. I think I'm going to tighten this up. So if I ever want to tighten up the kerning itself, the spacing in between the letters, I'm going to select it, and I can go right over here. The A V, little little guy, that's the actual controls the space in between. So I can nudge it, and you see it's going to nudge in. I can also hit Shift Command and uh, the comma tool. actually ignore that so I'm going to use this little guy right here scooch it down tighten her up okay, five C's just kind of make it more of a visual unit maybe what I want to do is increase to make this five even bigger so what I could do is I could take this number five and I can increase it make it huge I've often found that numbers look really cool There we go. That's kind of more visually interesting. And to create some um, um, some visual tension, what I can do is I can make I can bring part of this. If I want to draw attention to to uh, to a letter or a number, or some text, I could snug this this letter this five right up to the very top um, of of the the, the page. Um, if I don't want to create visual tension, I can drag this down a bit, and you see your your eye has a has a, it becomes more fluid running right across. So it all depends what I'm going to try to bring this up and just kind of see see if this works or not. And I'm going to snug this over here like so. And I mean, see now when you have different sizes of fonts, you can play with the with the the uh, the visual flow of stuff. So I could take this guy, and I could line it up like so. I could actually hit my rotate tool. R for rotate and rotate this guy around and get the, the hanging out right over here which may or may not work hope my uh, my laptop doesn't crash on me here it's getting a little hot so now we got this five C's and eh, looks kinda cool um, if I try to line this up with the margins it may or may not work because there is gets pretty tight here so maybe what I want to do is actually if if I have the the space the affordability of space uh, which sometimes is not is, is not there when you're doing layout I'm gonna spring this stuff down just a bit just so I'm gonna snug this down so maybe I can bring this down you know maybe I can bring it over so the lines up with that instead so it's just a little bit nicer and cleaner and then this convergence marketing well I could take this 
I forgot the of in there, which I have to snag in. So convergence marketing. Hmm. Well, I can duplicate that. I'm going to snag out convergence. I'm going to snag out marketing. Go back to my arrow. And you can do this all different ways. I can make a big text box and I could drop convergence and then down and then do a tab and over. But it's just faster for me to do it this way. Um, and also it allows much more flexibility. And also if the fonts choose to reflow, I don't lose all of my formatting. Everything's contained in one box. I wouldn't recommend setting up you know, massive amounts of, of body copy that way. Just titles and headers. So I'm just kind of playing with this. I want to try to get stuff to line up. It may or may not work this way. Um, I'm going to use this T. I'm going to copy it over here. I'm going to type in a letter of because I want to maintain some consistency when I'm doing headers, titles. Now this may or may not read right, but I just want to wrap this thing up quickly. Maybe I'll bring uh, bring this down here. And I'm just going to mess with this for a little while. Yeah, I do kind of like it up there. And also, depending on what you're doing, convergence marketing itself, well, convergence is basically a whole bunch of little items coming together uh, and to form one item. Um, convergence marketing is, is uh, covering all different kinds of uh, standard media, such as radio, radio television, um, and print advertising. Um, technology is making everything converge into one medium, the web, for example. So uh, if you're kind of, you can pull some ideas uh, from the actual uh, title itself and from, um, from, from the, the contents of your body copy to come up with creative ways to display your title. So convergence, converging, you know, type is kind of merging together. Uh, it may or may not work. I'm going to try to snug this stuff together. Yeah, I would probably spend a bit more time to uh, to make this look a bit cleaner, and you don't want to do this. Have this G right uh, kind of hanging out here. So maybe I'm going to take this font. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. There we go. That's a bit better because this actually is, is the fold line. You don't want to have text running across a fold line. It's never a good idea unless you're dealing with uh, the center fold, which uh, would just be two pages just totally unfolding um, side by side. It's one actual sheet of paper. Um, so, I mean, I would mess with this a little bit more. I'm going to maybe bring this down. I wanted to, uh, there we go. I want to try to play off the, the descender and the G here just to kind of get it looking kind of a little bit cool. And it's not bad, just a little bit of uh, typographical play, not a lot. Okay, so there's my title. So now I have all this kind of stuff set up. I'm going to save that. What should I save it as? Well, let's go down here to the desktop. Oh, mom stuff. It's all good. Um, I'm going to save this as, uh, you know, five Cs. Just so I save it as something. It's rather important to save stuff because, man, if it goes, it's gone. Okay, so this is my uh, this is my title set up. And I've got my body copy set up. Now, what if I want to set up some character styles now? Um, uh, character styles are different than bodies uh, than paragraph styles. Char paragraph styles apply to the entire chunks of paragraphs. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up in here and type, and I'm going to show hidden characters. And I'm going to turn off my W, and I can I tell you exactly what a paragraph is. A paragraph is anything with these little P's. Basically, it's it's a hard return. So I'm going to actually stick my cursor in there, for example, and I'm going to go to create this uh, this word right here, create, and I'm going to hit my hard return, my return button, it's my enter button, pow. See right there, there's another little backwards P. So it's whenever I hit that return button, that's the kind of a paragraph break. And, and so I could go in here and, and assign whatever I would little, even if I was to select a one space, one text, and, ass and assign a paragraph style to this, it would change this entire chunk from this P all the way down to that P, that backwards P. That's a paragraph in InDesign. Um, so it all depends on where those... Uh, where those hard returns are. Um, a character style, which is just like a paragraph style, basically is applying styles to um, just whatever selected individual characters. For example, e-business. Okay, if I want to make e-business, I'm going to make this, for example, bold italic, 
and I'm going to go in here, I'm going to bring up my colors, I'm going to make it cyan. If I want to make this as a style, so I would go in, select this, 